All right, so I went ahead and did, did it, and uh, I mentioned I'd be doing a video, but here it is. This is the uh, Brass Spire 916 1B 2B, or 2B 1B? I don't know, one of those. I think it's a 2B of some kind. There's a 2B <laughs> written right there. Kind of hard to see some of the, uh, the stuff on here, but look at that bad boy. Ooh, there's my pudgy. Look at that giant bell. It's huge. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. This thing's real fat. The brace is really nice. It's all ringed out. Heavy top and bottom, I think these are. And this is in a satin lacquer finish. Has the big stopper right here for the third valve. So yeah, I mean, this is everything I thought it would be. And to some degree, more than I thought it would be. Um, so it sounds great. Now, I'll play a little bit for you in a minute, but... I wanted to talk a little bit about why I think it's really important to be honest with yourself in terms of, uh, you know, your skill level. And it's, it's nothing more than, uh, again, honesty and being truthful, but it's the right thing to do, right? So, I mean, I've been playing for a long time, like 40 years. Yeah, probably like 40 years at this point. But I'm not a professional. You know, I'm not amazing as a player. I'm just you know, a student. I'm just a hobbyist. I, I really enjoy it. And I'm fortunate enough that I can afford really cool horns like this. But that being said, and I, I've mentioned this before, I actually play student level horns better. And there's a reason for that. And it's something I've had to come to terms with because while I want a horn like this, these advanced level horns are actually harder to play because you have to be much more skilled to control these horns. Right, the the target for the notes and, and and the pitch is much smaller than on a student horn and less forgiving because these horns have the expectation that the player is actually a much much superior player than a student. So these pro level horns, while this one, in my opinion, this is just an insane instrument. I paid twenty five hundred bucks for this brand new uh, from Austin Custom Brass. So thanks guys, uh, love that place as well. Um, but this is a, in, in every way, a professional horn. It's just heavy duty, beautifully made. I mean, it's just wonderful. The fit and finish is outstanding. It matches in every way to my Shilkies uh, and any other pro horn I've ever had. It's got the giant, you know, five and a quarter bell. So this bell is significantly bigger. Big, thick, heavy tubing and bracing on this thing. It's really, really nice, but because of the skill that I have as a player or the lack thereof, in that I'm really a student player, a student level player, this horn is pretty hard to play. Um, and in fact, I play the uh, the 900H that I have, the uh, unicorn version, I actually play that horn easier than I play this one. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna you know, not play this horn. I'm just gonna use this as something I strive for and try to become a better player and be able to be worthy to play this. But I think it's really important to put it out there for anyone that's just starting or coming back to the horn or you know whatever your position is. These pro level horns, while affordable as they may be for, for a lot of us, especially you know up, up in age, I mean, you know, a couple thousand bucks is really not that big of a deal when you know you have a good solid income. Um, you don't have to be some celebrity to afford a horn like this, but you still have to have the chops and the embouchure to be able to play a horn like this. So that's really something to take in consideration because you might be better off buying a horn that's actually at the same level that you are. Uh, and then having something like this, I think is really nice as something to aspire to. So I'm gonna keep working on playing this horn because Honestly, right now, I don't play this very well. I don't know if it takes more air or more embouchure, more support, more more everything, perhaps, to really play this thing well. I mean, it is just so gorgeous. Who wouldn't want to have it? So from my collector side, you know, I love just having this, owning it, and messing around on it. It's just such a beautiful horn. But, yeah, I don't play it very well. <laughs> Not at all. I play the cheaper horns better because they're geared for a student. They, they're more forgiving. That's really what it comes down to. So I don't know what your thoughts are on something like that, but that's that's my opinion. And that's my uh, kind of my advice out there for you today is to, you know, 
Get a horn that you can actually play really well and don't concern yourself too much with, is it a, a top line horn or, you know, for professionals or for students, you gotta play what you play best. And I, and I think, again, it's really good to aspire to play better. Uh, so get a horn like, you know, that may be beyond you that you wanna strive and grow into and, and work up to. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, I really feel that uh, the horns that suit me best are in fact the student level horns. So. No shame, just all good stuff, man.